Welcome to Obermatt Stock Investing. Today I'm going to explain you how to use the Obermatt Google Sheet to track your portfolio. Typically, most people look at their portfolio. You see here in front of me, my portfolio. And when I look at my portfolio, I have shares that gone down. Some of them gone down a lot, you know, and shares that gone up a little bit. Some have done really well, you know, like these companies that are in the plus. Now, if you look at your portfolio, you get a complete wrong impression of what you should do with it because it gives you negative signals for the stocks that have depreciated in value and gives, it gives you positive sim, uh, signals for stocks that have appreciated in value. But the stocks that have appreciated are by definition the more expensive stocks. So it's not the stocks that you should be selling. It, the, same, the same also the other way around is true for the stocks that have lost in value. They're still the same stock. You still own the same part of that stock. Now it's cheaper, so what? It doesn't mean you should sell it. Actually, since it's cheap, you're not going to get as much money as you thought it's worth, which means you should keep it. I think there's another better way to look at your portfolio, and it, it's to look at it with the Obermott ranks. You can get the Obermott ranks in your Obermott investment alert, the email we sent out to our subscribers. Subscribing, by the way, is free. Okay. I, uh, you have here in front your top 10 alert, and in every alert you have the entire rank database as CSV file. You can click on that, and it will download the most recent CSV file. I've done that already. It's down here on my computer. And what you can do, you can go to Google Sheets, and you can open it. You can open it, you can select it from your computer. Select file from computer. And here it is, you can open that. And what happens then is it loads into your computer. It takes a while, but that's basically what you will see. You will see Obermott IDs, then the name of the stock, a URL, the country, and the ranks back here. Now, we have developed a spreadsheet that lets you look up this information in for your portfolio. We see it here. I've put down my portfolio. I've put down all the Obermott IDs from my portfolio. On the second page, you actually see the ranks. So when you go to the ranks, you see all the ranks. If you want to have Marks and Spencer, you enter 6629. This is the Obermott ID for Marks and Spencer. Now you enter all your Obermott IDs. You enter the stock value, and the first result you're getting is you're getting the weight for each stock. And if your weight is below 10% for each stock, it already means you're pretty good diversified. If the weight goes below 5%, it's even better. You see the name, you see the size, and very important, you see all the Obermott ranks. Now, when you look at your portfolio that way, it doesn't give you a signal to sell for stocks that might actually be good value. It gives you a signal to sell for stocks that are less in value. So we see here Meyer Burger, no, no, Merck, Merck from Germany, and the Portuguese retailer Geronimo Martins. These two companies have actually gained in market price so much that their current profit doesn't really justify the value for the company, or at least is very high. So it means these companies have to have extraordinary futures to justify uh, buying them. Now, if you believe in fundamental values, you may want to exit here. These are good signs to exit. A cheap, a low price, like happened to the company Sandvik or Siemens, why do I have Siemens up here? You know, is not really a good indicator to sell. A low rank is a good indicator to sell. You can download this spreadsheet. The link is actually in the description of this video and use it yourself for your portfolio. I wish you good luck with your own stock investing and goodbye.